Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and today I have an amazing Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is brand new. If you ever want to keep up to date on what is new at the Dollar Tree, then be sure you always check out the Come With Me to the Dollar Tree videos that I post throughout the week because those are the videos that you're going to see what is new and what to look out for. I'm pretty good about linking those down below. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll link that down below as well. Also, if you'd like to share a picture of your fur baby or your scale baby, you can do so through Instagram. And I've been picking some pictures here and there and adding them at the end of my video. So again, if you wanted to send a picture, go right ahead. And I just might include your fur baby in one of my videos. So with all that said, let me dive in and let me show you what I was able to find at my Dollar Tree. All right. I'm going to start off with these. I was hoping I could find them and sure enough, I did. They have two different kinds and these are the tin little bins, I guess you can call them or trays. I don't know what you want to call them, um, but they have it in this shape and then you have the star. These are so cute. These would go so perfect in a bathroom. Put some washcloths in there, maybe a little bar of soap or a travel size shampoo and conditioner for like a guest bathroom. Um, you can put little candies in here. You can use them for your crafts. There's just a lot of things you can do with these. Even for Christmas or different holidays, you can decorate these. Now, I thought maybe I would find these over there in the craft section, but the Dollar Tree that I found these in were down there by the vases. Is that even a word, vases, or do you just say vas or the vase? I'm not sure. But that's where I found these, so that just goes to show you that you got to look through in the entire store for something and not just go where you think they should go. All right, they are getting bigger and bigger garden tools or yard utensils, as I like to call them. And when I found this uh, leaf rake, it's like, okay, yeah, that's cool. Um, if you are really, really short and you go like this, and then I'm like, oh no, wait, they have a handle that can go with their new gardening tools. And I already put the shovel on the bottom here. They have different, um, they have like a different kind of rake. They have a hoe, they have the shovel and they have this big rake. Now this handle is 47 inches long. It's the same length as their broomstick, but I compared the two and I think this one is made so much better. It's uh, more durable. So you should be able to fit your mop and all that kind of stuff on the end here. And I would really recommend this one. Again, this one is 47 inch by 0 0.8 inch by garden collection and all you do oh well there's a piece of tape on here there we go so you just take the end of whatever you're going to use and just screw that right in there and there you go you are all set to go rake your leaves so i thought that was really really cool Oop, sorry shelf um so yeah i really like those handles I thought this was really, really cute. They have four different ones. They have two houses and two churches of these, and they each have a different saying. Now this one I bought was the Hope with the gold heart. If you open it up, there's a little pray list in here and you can cut them in the little squares that they provided. And they just have like little prayers on there or you can write your own. Um, for this one, it just says, uh, blessed are those who trust in the Lord. Another day, another blessing. Prayers go up, blessings come down. Blessed are the pure in heart for they will see God. And then thankful, grateful, blessed, and loved. Not only is this cute for that, your earrings, a bracelet, um, if your little one loses a tooth or whatever, and they want to put it in here and set it under their pillow or whatever, I thought that would be something really cute. And again, if you don't like the colors, you can always spray paint them 
or hand paint them, but I like using like chalk paint for stuff like this. I think it um, coats it a lot better than just using acrylic paint, but that's just my opinion. Um, again, they have four different ones and they're playing on the other side. So you can do your own thing if you want to. You can personalize it if you have a Cricut and you know how to use it. Yes, I'm one of those people that had a Cricut for almost two years and it's still in the box because I'm petrified of it. Uh, there, I said it. Just being honest. All right, when I showed these in my walkthrough, I was trying to say cushy foot, and I think I said coochie foot. I don't know. I was just, I, <laughs> I, it was, that was a long day. But this is a cushy foot flat to go. They have them in multiple sizes. I got the size 910 because I have huge feet. Um, it says, I love my flats to go. They say I need such time. I'm stuck in these heels. You get one pair. And this was the only print they had. So I thought, see my last job I had, I had to wear heels all the time. The only time we didn't have to wear heels is when we worked golf outings and we could wear um, gym shoes or flip flops. So I guess these probably would have, oh my. I don't know, they kind of look like sn snake skin. So let me, um, okay, so we're getting a good look at this. <laughs> it feels like a paper bag on my foot. Uh, interesting, neat concept, but it is very, 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 th the material feels like the reusable bags at the Dollar Tree. That's what the fabric feels like. I'm sure you can probably dissect this and use it in a different way, but those are very cheap feeling. So, me. But these by Cushy Foot is microfiber legging seamless in the color black. And this is a size, does it have a size? No, it doesn't. But it says a medium or a large and the container does not have neither. And yes, it does, Jenny. You got to move it out of the way. So that is a medium. Hmm. So I am just going to get this open. I'm gonna just go for it. I haven't wore leggings in probably a decade, who knows. Um, so they feel soft. I don't know if I'll try them on or not. I don't know. But you can always cut them up and use them in something else in a different way, but they're soft. They have their adorable hats back in stock and they have a couple of new colors this year. Um, I bought a few of these last year and my kids and I wore them at my daughter's bridal shower and they were just really, really cute. And for only a buck, well, back when they were a dollar, but I bought this taupe color. They had a dark brown, this color, a white and a black. They also have kid sizes, which they have them in different colors, but I think these are super cute. You can don't have to leave the ribbon on there. I don't know how well, see it's not gonna fix. I have my big old bun on. But these look really cute and you can decorate these a different way. Um, I'm sure you can do a DIY or something with them, but I just picked up that color because I thought it was really cute. And look at this, you guys, a name brand. This is a dinner kit soft taco bake. And the kit includes four flour tortillas, cheese sauce, seasoning mix. All you have to do is add meat and whatever toppings you want to add in there. Now, I do believe these are like three, four dollars maybe at a regular grocery store, but who knows nowadays how much these are. This is an 8.4 ounce, so I thought that was a great, great deal for that. We love burritos and tacos over here. I thought these were so cute. These are a knockoff brand, I do believe, of like the Zoom Zooms, but they are Nickelodeon. They had a Quite a few characters, but these are the two I picked up is Blue's Clues and Magenta. When Blue's Clues, when Blue's Clues came out, my oldest daughter that is 25 right now, um, this came out when she was mm, a year old, maybe, I think back in 97 or 98, and she was a huge fan of Blue's Clues. 
Actually, all five of my kids watch Blue Clues, but she was the one that really, really, really loved Blue's Clues. So I thought these were super cute. I'm going to give them to her. She can put them in her car. She can put them on a shelf or she can just give it to her cat to play with. I don't know. But I just think these are really cute. Again, they have the Blue's Clues on the tag. They had Marvel characters and Ryan's World. So yeah, those are so cute. Hi, Blue. Hi, Magenta. Okay. One other toy I picked up is this little vanity set. I think this will be something cute to do a cute DIY with. These are ages three and up. They are plastic, uh, but it does come with a little stool. They had uh, a bed and a sofa. I don't know what I do with my scissors. Oh, there, there goes my stool. I need my stool. Oh, it's stuck on me. But they also had another vanity, which the blue was here and then the white was up here. So it's whatever you prefer, I guess. Again, it is plastic. It's maybe three inches. But I thought that would be something really cute for even a shadow box. Or if you want to do a, um, like if you have a little dollhouse or whatever. Um, I know, oh my gosh, what is her name? Is it Anne? Oh, Foo Foo. I can't remember your name, but she is a YouTuber that does... Um, miniature stuff. I just think they are so fascinated. I have been someone that loves little miniature things. My kids do too, but I am just a huge fan. I even kept some of my stuff from my shadow back, a shadow, shadow, shadow box back in the early eighties. I just loved getting those little things like at, um, card cage. I don't know if that was just a Fort Wayne thing, but they had a card cage here at Southtown mall. And I love buying these little figurines. I just love them. Uh, so I, when I saw that, I thought of her when I seen these little miniature things. So, yeah. They had some new makeup brushes. This one is by Dirty Works Good Clean Fun. It is a, it just says a blush, blusher blush. And that is the container that it comes in. It is a zip lock. It does have tape, so I am not going to fight with it. And then the other one, this has a pretty, some good weight to it. It is by the company Trim, and it kind of says, I don't know what kind of brush it is, but that is what it looks like. Look how cool that is. The, the handle almost looks like glass. Let me see if I can attempt to open this. Why do they have to make it Jenny proof? Everything I try to open from there is Jenny proof. Ooh, that's really soft. So look how pretty that is. Look how cool that is. And it's so fluffy. Ooh, so fluffy. So yeah, got that. Um, they have a lot of, of the Betty Crocker items right now. And these are really durable. And they have the rubber, like, silicone grip. Um, we went ahead and got this ladle because we like to make chili and different kinds of um, soups. So I thought that would be perfect. So, yeah. And they have a bunch of different ones. But, you know, I think that's pretty pretty nice i thought these are really cute these are by garden collection they are decorative plant ties you get two per pack i thought they were two frogs and once i was recording them i'm like is there something wrong with that other frog it doesn't look right and i had to really look at it and it's a lizard it is a lizard now these remind me of those little bunnies you can buy um you would wrap them around your Easter basket handle. I know I did that with my kids, but see, they could just maybe hang out somewhere, maybe on a shelf, you know, like that. But this lizard just had me cracking up because I'm, you are one freaky looking lizard. I mean, it's kind of creepy though, but let me see if I can wrap it body the right way so it doesn't look so creepy. I guess you can do the tail and yeah so there's the creepy weird lizard. I thought they were kind of cute. I mean you don't have to use them for what they say they're for. Plant ties. I don't know. Come here buddy. Those are actually kind of different and cute. A little weird. I think these are beautiful. They had six different ones. I picked up four. These are, well, 
they don't really say what they are, but I they remind me of tiles, but they're wood. Look how beautiful these are. These are two different ones. Trust me, I was moving it all over the place, making sure, yeah, they're different. So you can put them side to side if you want. You can scatter them. You can use them as a maybe a coaster or something. Um, they do have the hole in the back if you wanted to hang it, but I do believe these do prop up fairly easy if you wanted to. See, I don't have it leaning against the wall or anything. So if you wanted to. Um, so I got those and then I picked up this one that says life is a beautiful ride for the most part. And then all you need is love. All you need is love. Now the other two they had had more of like roses on it, like a pinkish color. I mean, they're pretty, but these are the ones I really liked and they had some good weight to them too. They have three new frames. Um, they are four by six. They're by special moments and they remind me of leather. Now this one is a beautiful blue and it has like a gray stitch. They also had it in a really beautiful blush pink. Ooh, the sky's really pretty. Ooh, I'm missing the sky. And they also had it in black. It probably sounded really freaky, but I think that was are really cute. I like that one. Might, that'll go perfect on here. I'll have to find a picture to put in it. Okay, um, I found another item from Made Smart. This is an amazing brand. Um, you can usually find it at Target, Walmart. Um, they have their own website. This is, it just, just says hand wash. Doesn't say what it really is, but you can use it for spoons, forks, knives, um, paint brushes, makeup brushes, pens, pencils. You can put like little, I don't have a little one. I mean, smaller candles if you wanted to. You can maybe line up a few candles in there. You can put some fake flowers in there. You can put these little glass bottles. Um, Meyer has a ton of different ones of these for only a dollar. So um, that would be something cute. Um, so you don't have to use it in the kitchen, what it's really meant for. And it has the rubber grips. So you can put it in your drawer, help you organize. And what am I laying it on? Oh, there they go. Um, they had some new toothbrushes. These are by um, Brush Buddies. They had three different sets. These are charcoal um, infused. They are the soft bristle. I bought a medium bristle accidentally years and years ago, and that is a mistake I will never make again. Mm. Um, but these are what the packages look like. So they had these colors right there. And let's see, what is that? Black and a teal. This one is blue and white. And then they also had it in this white and black as well. Another name brand item. I think they retail between four to six dollars. So yeah, boys can use toothbrushes, that's for sure. Um, they had some new games and these are ages six and up. This is Squishy Sculpt, a game of sculpting um, charades. You get four bags of dough, and it doesn't say what else you get, but I know my son has a game something like this that I had bought him. Oh my gosh, it was a while back. It was at Toys R Us, and I can tell you what, it was not $1.25, that's for sure, and I think he still has it. I have it out in the garage on the shelf. Um, but stuff like this is amazing to keep in a camper an RV, um, if you're traveling for like the hotel or your condo, or let's say you rent out condos or whatever, and you rent your place out, it's always nice to have this kind of stuff set around. So if the weather's all like and you're stuck inside and the parents, you know, forgot to bring something to keep the kids busy or even yourself busy, it's always nice to have this kind of stuff maybe in a drawer or in the closet for your guests to play. So you have a deck of cards and this one is a hell helicopter so if you draw that you have to build a helicopter using this play play-doh they give you four colors and they have the timer so you have only a certain amount of time to do it in and I know my son and I did that it was it was fun so bought that and then they had the sketch it. Guess the drawing before time runs out. Now this reminds me of win, lose, and draw. 
I loved watching that back in the 80s. Um, again, I have something similar to this. I'm just kidding myself. So everything that you get in here, you'll get a marker, a wipe off marker. Oh, that's cool. They don't give you paper, but they give you this so you can erase it. And then you have the instructions. You have the sand timer and you have the deck of cards. So right here it says, uh, let's see, let's do, you have to draw, just pick a card, Jenny, ice skating, a sailboat, and they have it in Spanish as well. Um, so yeah, that's another fun game that you can um, have around at grandma's house or whatever. All right, <clears throat> so when I did my walkthrough, I came across these. And I'm like, okay, I know the Dollar Tree and a lot of stores are cutting back on their sizes and the ounces and all that stuff, but why are they discontinuing air? Air. This is a ball. I haven't blown up yet. They had a, quite a few different colors. They had the spiky one. They had the smooth kind of one. So I thought I'd go with the spiky. Um, so I have to find a pump to pump up my ball because now they don't come with air. Is it a new thing? Don't know. Um, but maybe they just didn't feel like putting air in them. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have found these at your store and if they had air in them or not. Just ask. Just ask. And I like to buy these for the backyard on the trampoline and the pool. That's why I like buying those. So I thought, yeah, I'm buying them. I thought this was really cute. Brand, uh, name brand item by Orb. It's ages three and up. It is a sensory octa bubble. They had it in four different colors. I went ahead and picked up the blue and I am going to attempt to rip it with a shoot that I do. Now they're on the floor. Perfect spot for me. Right? So let's go ahead and see the little octopus. See the little eyes. So you pop its feet out like that. So how cute is that? So yeah, picked up the blue one. Again, then I think they had four colors. This is a name brand. This is Soapbox Sea Minerals and Blue Irish or Iris Liquid Hand Soap Gentle Moisture with Aloe. And it's a 12 ounce bottle. And I about threw it at you. Um, go ahead and look it up and you'll see how much this uh, retails at other stores. This is cruelty free, vegan. And I'm going to take a whiff of it because it. I think it smells good. It's clear. I think it really smells good. My husband said no more hand soap, but I'm someone that loves hand soap. I wash my hands way too much. It's just one of those things. I've always done it. You know, never be too clean. Um, they had some new hair clips by Scunchy, another name brand item. Uh, my kids wear these in their hair all the time. Me, I just can't do it because it just bothers me and they're called jaw clips. They had two different designs or shapes, whatever, in the black. They had it in other colors, but I figured you yeah, can't go wrong with black. So yeah, went ahead and picked those up for my daughter. Nothing too exciting, but I wanted to share it with you. A few other items. They have this that is a name brand. It's by Soft Scrub. It is a little cube that you put in your tank, your toilet that is. And it cleanses it, makes it look all pretty. Never tried it before. I bought three of them since we have three bathrooms in this house. So can't neglect all of them. So we gotta make it even so no one gets mad. I want blue water. No, I want blue water. So everyone's gonna have blue water in the bathrooms. These they've had in the past. Uh, they have some really pretty colors right now. These match the uh, containers they've been carrying. They had the gray, the blue, this uh, blushy pink color, which I really like. It's, it's a dishwasher safe. It's a silicone scrubber, but I like to use these to clean off makeup brushes and for resin to clean off my tools on that. So I just went ahead and picked up this one. So you can use it for different things. You can also, um, if you work with paint, you could put the paint on your canvas and then you can go like this 
and blot your paint to get a different texture look. So there's a lot of things you can use with this. I just don't think, oh, I don't need a scrubber. You gotta think outside the box. All right, and the last non-exciting item is the limited time only Pringles Weedy Melted Pub Cheese Chips. <sighs> and it is a 4.8 ounce can. A lot of food that I haul, my husband is usually the one that throws it in the cart. His favorite aisle is the food and the chemicals. He loves to clean. He loves to clean, which <laughs> I'm blessed that he loves to. Um, so a lot of times he's with me and that's like his favorite, favorite section of the store. So I knew when I was getting to that point of the store, I'm like, yeah, he's going to light up like a Christmas tree because we're getting the chemicals and food. So that is everything that I was able to find at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. I hope you all have a wonderful day beautiful safe day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling.